Hey, welcome back everybody. Today's video is going to be our second look into PSA and graded slab through the years player edition. You may remember my first episode earlier in the month was Frank Thomas. And I'll have a link down below if you, uh, if you missed that episode. But what we're going to do is just show some of my slab cards for individual players. This week, we have a pretty good player. His name is Derek Jeter. And the ballots for the Hall of Fame went out November 18th. We're mailed to the Baseball Writers Association. That will be announced uh, January 21st, 2020. And, of course, the induction will be in late July of 2020. But studies have shown that uh, there will be a spike, a noticeable jump in card prices for players in all sports, baseball especially, that uh, the spike date will be around their announcement date, not necessarily the induction dates in, Jan in July. But, so that's very important to differentiate, but the spike occurs after their announcement date. And again, for Major League Baseball this year, the announcement date will be January 21st of 2020. So if you want to flip cards, if that's your idea, is to make money uh, buying and then selling at a higher price, put your auction date on uh, eBay, Amazon, what have you, to end just after the announcement date, January 21st. That's my little tip for this video. Um, because really there's no doubt that Derek Jeter will be elected and will be announced on January 21st. It's just a matter of really whether he'll receive 100% of the vote or not. And you may remember last year his longtime teammate Mariano Rivera, Rivera was the first to ever in the history of Major League Baseball to receive 100% of the vote. And uh, many believe Derek Jeter, Jeter will be the second. I mean, he deserved it. 20-year career, all with one team, all with the Yankees, five-time World Series champ. In the storied history of the New York Yankees, Derek Jeter is the all-time leader in hits, doubles, games, stolen bases, times on base, plate appearances, at-bats, 14 times All-Star, five gold gloves, versatile player, stole a lot of bases, fielded well, hit well, obviously. He was sixth overall in Major League Baseball history with 3,465 hits. Clutch player in the World Series, averaged 321, lifetime batting average in the World Series. Um, just a great overall player. Well, let's get right to it without any further ado. Gone on too long already, but um, again, I like to get pre-rookie cards for uh, great players. Derek Jeter, 1992 classic. He was a sixth overall pick. In 1992, I love to read the back of these cards. This is such fine print, I'm going to have a hard time reading this one. But uh, it says, Jeter is a scout's delight. He throws to first base, average 83 miles per hour. Scouts compare him to Sean Dunstan of the Cubs. His hitting also attracted the attention of scouts. Struck out just once his senior year. He is a 3.8 GPA which means he's just as good of a student as he is an athlete. So, pretty incredible. He was the sixth overall pick in 1992. First high school player chosen. Um, 1992, the first overall choice was Phil Nevin, who had a, a really good college career at Cal State Fullerton. They thought he would be ready to play almost immediately in the uh, major leagues. He had a decent career, I guess. Not <laughs> anywhere near Jeter, but... Um, uh, there's a 1993 classic gold P in the PSA 9. Played for the Greensboro Hornets in the minor leagues as a youngster. Second pick was Paul Shuey out of North Carolina, a pitcher. Third pick, B.J. Wallace, another pitcher out of Mississippi State. Fourth pick overall, there's a 1992 draft pick, Mint 9, 1993 tops. This card's going up in value already as uh, the Hall of Fame vote nears. That might be the one to flip if you see that one. Got the, both in a mint nine there. This one you've seen before in another video, where I think uh, from Four Corners. That's a mint nine, 1995 tops. 
And if you remember, that one was printed the year after the strike in 94. And many believe, including myself, we believe that 1995 Tops was truly limited because they just didn't think collectors would come back. They didn't think fans would come back to the stadium in 95, and they didn't think collectors would uh, come back to the collecting markets in 1995. So according to all reports uh, that I've seen, Tops printed many fewer cards in 1995 than it did in 94. 96 Tops, Mint 9. 1997 Fleer to Mint 9. You've seen this one before too as well. 1998 Tops with that gold border. Could be tough to find in a Mint 9. And you got to imagine that's um, 21 years old. 22 years old. 21 years old. SP Authentic and a Gem Mint 10. Anytime you can get an SP and a Gem Mint 10, I think you go for it, especially the price I got that for. And then the final card, this is a 2008 Upper Deck Sweet Spot. And as you can see there, the strings, you can has a tactile feel on the strings of the baseball. Pretty neat card. Tough to find in um, perfect gem mint condition because of those strings. They can kind of get smashed down in a pack or in a box, a wax box. But So that's my Derek Jeter collection of my slabs. That's it. So again, all um, oh, the fifth overall pick, I think I'd have mentioned fourth was Jeffrey Hammonds out of Stanford. Fifth was Chad Modola. Matola from UCF, and then, of course, sixth was Jeter, the first high school player taken. Shortstop out of high school in Michigan. But uh, that's just a little look. I'm not bragging by any stretch. I mean, my, my collection pales in comparison to most. I just want to offer a little, through the years, a glimpse into the careers of some of the major sports greats of the game. And I'll be doing this in all sports. First two were football, but I'll be showing some football and some baseball and some basketball. Um, just a little look and a little glimpse of my slabbed cards through the years. Appreciate you guys watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. And um, we'll be back soon with another one of these videos. This is number two in a series. Hopefully I can do this oh, well, every once in a while. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you haven't hit that subscription button, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, and leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to read all of them. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.